Hi, well, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of your graduation. I have to say it's an absolute honor to be a part of these events. And actually, Chapman totally took my, my line here, which is that you probably don't know me because I work behind the scenes. And what I do and what a lot of the people I work with do is to make sure that programs like these are available to people like you. So you don't actually see me on a day-to-day -day basis, but I have to tell you that this is one of the best parts of my job, is coming to these kinds of, of graduations. I'm really able to survive this, particularly the Teach in Ontario graduations. I really survived the entire event without having a little cry, and actually we should have tissues on the table. <laughs> because I find the passion that you bring, the commitment, the feistiness that you have to be incredibly humbling and very inspiring. And it is now my honor to introduce the Honorable Minister Catherine Wynne to you. Minister Wynne was elected to the Ontario Legislature in 2003 and served as the Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Education. And since September of last year, um, Minister Wynne has been the Minister of Education. Ms. Wynne has built on a lifetime of political activity and a career of service to youth, students and families. Ms. Wynne is a knowledgeable and passionate advocate of a strong, publicly funded school system. She's played a major role as an organiser and a facilitator, helping school communities grapple with education issues. And in 1996, Ms. Wynne was instrumental in the organization of Citizens for Local Democracy and the Metro Parent Network, which is now the, known as the Toronto Parent Network. A mother of three, she has served as the uh, president of the Lawrence Park Collegiate Parents Council, the John Wanless Parents Association, and on the board of the People and Organizations in North Toronto. Ms. Wynne holds a Master's of Arts in Linguistics from the University of Toronto and a Master of Education in Adult Education from the Ontario Institute of Studies in Education. Please join me in welcoming Minister Wynne. Thank you so much. And uh, it, is, it is really a great honour and a pleasure to be here. And congratulations to all the graduates. Real um, I was thinking about what I uh, what I wanted to say to you today, and uh, I want I want to say first of all that I represent a government that believes in its heart in publicly funded education. We believe in the education system in Ontario. Our Premier Dalton McGuinty um, is a, just a staunch advocate of public education. He he believes that it is a cornerstone of our democracy. I believe the same thing. I think that what makes Ontario what it is. Is, um, is what happens in our schools and in our classrooms. And so um, it's so important to us as a government that we make that system as strong as it can be. So much of what we have done since we were elected in 2003 it has been about education. It's been about making sure that our little children in the schools have the resources that they need and that they are in classrooms that are not too large. It has been about putting programs in our high school so that the, the young people who were leaving school find some reason to stay so that they have a program that engages them and keeps them interested. And then the, the third piece, um, which is the, what you've been involved in, is providing programs for the people who come to this country with a wealth of experience. And uh, it, was a, it was mentioned that I, um, I studied adult education. And that is what I did before I had my children. I worked worked in adult education. I taught English as a second language in East York and I worked with people who had come to the country um, newly arrived in Ontario and um, it was it was in doing that, I was doing that at the same time that I was studying and it was in doing that that I I formulated my some of my own beliefs about what education is and how it works and one of my strong beliefs about education is that whether the learner is a very young child or is an adult, that learner brings something to the experience that we cannot assume that either little children, and we certainly can't assume adults, are blank slates on which the teacher is going to write his or her ideas. And I think that is critical for 
adult education. And I, I believe that for, for a very long time, and probably still, there are situations where the assumption is that when someone comes from another country or doesn't speak English or French as their first language, that somehow we have to, as a culture, fill that person up and tell them things that they don't know or understand. And I think it's extremely important that, that we, we move away from that model and that we, we understand what an adult education model is, that, that you all bring your own experience and, as has been said already, we are the wealthier for that experience. Organizations like Skills for Change can do a much better job than a big government bureaucracy because Skills for Change is in the community. It understands what's needed in the community. And so I believe very strongly that one of government's important roles is to support agencies and organizations like this one to deliver the kinds of services that you need. The government is very big and it is sometimes very far from the community and the community community needs. So I, I believe strongly in the work of Skills for Change and I celebrate and congratulate them on delivering this program and making this happen. Indeed. Our intention is to help people who come to this country to get into the work that they are experienced in, that they have skills in. That is our intention. That is what we want. Our intention is to make our publicly funded education system as strong as it can be. That is that is why we've been making investments. And finally, that we wish you every success. We really want you to succeed. We, we all together want Ontario to grow and to become stronger and that will happen if you are able to live out your dreams and the dreams of your family. So thank you very, very much for all of your perseverance because it is it is one thing for a young person to go into school and to go through school and take one step after another and end up going to teacher's college and becoming a teacher. It is entirely another thing to come from another country, to find your way to a program like this, to take the step through the door and start on a journey that takes an enormous amount of courage. I always think with adult education that the, the first step is actually the hardest step. Graduation is wonderful, but it's that first step that says, I'm going to, I'm going to explore a new avenue or I'm going to explore a way to get into something that has been difficult for me up until this point. That's the courageous step. So thank you for taking that first step and thank you for persevering and congratulations and all the very best of luck to you.